Good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion, and today we are coming to you from the Orange County Convention Center, and we are at the IAPA Convention. This should be great. This is all about theme parks, attractions, um, anything to do with that. They're going to be showing new things that they're trying to tempt people that have those kind of attractions to buy. So let's go explore it. Days with Jordan the Lion. It begins right now. And our buddy Larry, who owns the Darkness attraction in St. Louis and owns Blacklight Attractions, ended up hooking me and Jacob the Carpetbagger up with some passes so I could do this and check this out for the first time. All right, we have my lanyard. We are good to go. And we have a bag for whatever trinkets we pick up along the way. There it is, the Ayapa Expo. I'm pretty excited to see what this is all about. This is a totally new type of convention for me, so anything new is cool in my book. <laughs> I know they will have panels and things like that also for information, but I'm more here to see the stuff. As soon as you walk in, you have games. here if you're looking to create a ball pit for your attraction or roadside attraction whatever you have that's what they do here train rides see there's a lot of holiday attractions especially at Christmas time oh let's check this out this jack-o-lantern journey whoa look in here The movie Uncle Fester, Christopher Lloyd, Hocus Pocus. If you're the kind of person that says, like, I always wanted to have an attraction like this, but I'm not creative, I don't know how to think it up, these kind of people help. Who's this big guy? Wow. They're basically showing you here how they can create anything you want from scratch for your attraction. Full-scale museum replicas. Obviously, I won't be able to show you everything, but I'm just trying to give you a taste of what you can see while you're here, some of the more interesting things. This is showing they make exercise equipment like air tracks so that you can, well, this is a pretty good example. For like gymnastics, but also practicing uh, tricks for like in, on like halftime shows and things like that for basketball games have these inflated floors so you can kind of work out a routine. And here they help you create your own interactive shows with cartoon characters and different things like that. See so where you can talk to the microphone and it will do your words through there. And they have water park fountains. And this is called the Foam Daddy Foam Cannon. So you can literally just shoot foam out of it. I really didn't know trampoline socks were a thing, but they are. Gripping socks. Very interesting. Look at that. Creating Christmas light displays. If you have a hotel or a town, even, you're trying to dress it up for tourism and for the holidays, they can do it here. I love that idea. Ghostbusters game. Ghostbusters. Just follow the psychomagnet there. It's line flow and try to get the hang of it. Whoa. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. And this is what he sees. Yeah! And then they're in here 
ghost hunting in virtual reality. So they have the goggles on and everything. They have guns. And this is what they're seeing. Nice. For the Christmas displays. And the old carnival games. Look at this at Golden Paintworks. They have neon paint. Look at that. You too can create a neon Bob Ross at your house. Oh, look at that. Little kids, like a uh, motor home, fire department, you can put on your property. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. That is awesome. That is awesome. How creative. My girlfriend did warn me. She said, I know you're going to see something there that you think the house needs. She wasn't wrong. What do you say, big guy? You want to come live at my house? If you talked, you would be perfect. This is cool. This is the Great Coasters booth. They make, of course, roller coasters. But look at that. I love that. Kind of see how inventive the coaster cars have become over the years. Or maybe you just want to have something themed like that, like a chariot. That is killer. I love that. Somebody can just make you a chariot to put outside of your business. Okay, so things we were talking about maybe we could uh, put on my property <laughs> maybe this how cool is this oh wow you've got slides galore theming galore it's like a water park at your own house except it's not a water park just a water park theme slide I think we can go walk around it a little bit let's check it out a little And they're pointing out that it's a non-slippery surface for safety. So if you're gonna go down this, you hop in there. And they have the tubes closed off for the slide so nobody's dumb enough to go do that because you know somebody would. Somebody like me. You can actually get in a grave digger. Talk about Fun. I find myself watching Monster Jam more than I care to admit. <laughs> oh, cool, you can ride this here. See what this Grave Digger experience is all about. It's on hydraulics, so I guess it's going to bounce around a lot. Oh, they give you a. Uh... They give you virtual reality goggles, I'm noticing. They're passing them out. I may have to do this. You guys wouldn't be able to really experience it with me since it's VR, but I think I am gonna do it and I'll tell you about it. on hydraulics with VR was amazing. You, if you ever get a chance, you should definitely do it. Tiny bubbles. Monstrous Christmas tree alert. What's cool though is this particular tree has more than meets the eye. It is actually a building. Here's the hyper mask booth. All kinds of horror masks. These are great. So 
So here they're showing you all the crazy things that you can make out of 3D, including the Game of Thrones chair, which I saw, I saw one actually on display in, uh, in Malta. So this is called Jelly Ball. And it, it almost looks like paintball to an extent. You can see through there some of the people doing it, like the mannequins. And it's, you wear 3D glasses and it's like black light. I love all the Christmas themed stuff. Of course, you know, Christmas coming up, so they would, but I just love seeing it anyway. Wow, take a look at what they created here. Whoa. That is some amazing theming. That reminds me of the House on the Rock. When you go in that room that has like the three story high creature. Great job on this one. And the game that probably has made me angrier than any other game, the claw game. I just feel like the claw games are almost unwinnable. They have all the kind of crazy stuffed animals you can buy and fill them with here. Alright, more holiday fun world. This actually looks like this is a full walkthrough. Or at least there's something inside to see, so let's take a wander in there and see what they have. Look, that is a chair. Nice. A big peppermint chair. Look at this. All, all kinds of creative ways to do holiday displays is what they do, basically. Look at what Kern Studios has cracking. I've actually seen that before, so... That I did recognize. Kern Studios, so far you win for the most amazing display <laughs> so far. That is for the Kroger booth at the Texas State Fair. Or the Holiday World. Called Winterland Incorporated. And look at the custom flooring they do here. I could definitely see this at an attraction or a casino. All kinds of cool floors. Oh wow, look at this. Hollywood Walk of Fame. Funny, I was just thinking this floor looked very Vegas-y. Then they've got like a silhouette of Michael Jackson. Building a Tiki Hut bar experience, they can help you with it here. You know, I feel like with this channel, I have got to pretty much live out most of my experiences of people I've wanted to meet in my life and got to see and do just about everything I can think of except for go to Castle Grayskull with He-Man and Skeletor. There go. Awesome! I'm not kidding, this was one of my all-time favorite shows growing up. Along with the A-Team, I never missed He-Man. So getting to see something like this you've created, that is so cool. Wow. He-Man. These life-size figures. Fred Flintstone smoking a stogie. Wilma's a little more seductive than I usually am used to seeing, but I'm not going to complain. Oh, look at this. Freddie Mercury. That is life size. That is amazing. I see the Ripley's Believe It or Not sign up here. I'm gonna have to check out the Orlando Ripley's while I'm here in town. Oh look, robotic acrobatics. The artist called it the acrobatics. Here they have Han Solo's blaster. Look at that, the actual screen used one. It says that Harrison Ford used this as well as his stuntman double in Return of the Jedi. 
And what's your first IAPA without seeing a half mummified head? Maybe next time I come, I'll see a full mummified head. That's kind of cool. That's a Stockholm Olympic torch, 1856. And so we meet again. The infamous Marilyn Monroe dress that I filmed in Hollywood that Kim Kardashian wore and she claims that she, you know, took great care of it, but you notice they're not making it available for you to see the back of it because that's where the damage was done. That is a five million dollar dress. Oh, look at this over here. Mount Rushmore on the side of the car. Believe it or not, all Swarovski crystals. Wow, <laughs> that is cool, Ripley's. I do love seeing these acrobatic sculptures, though. Automata. Look at these, these are like the giant paper lantern type deals. Your own Eiffel Tower. See, I love these. To me, these are the way to go. Especially if you're doing like a temporary holiday display. Like Descanso Gardens does in Los Angeles. They use this kind of stuff as a walkthrough and it's just, it's an awesome experience. Whoa. Look over here. We just went Halloween again. All the amazing creativity at these places. A Christmas display. Turn your head through there and take the fun photos. Oh, look at this! This is great! The elves are just jamming out over here. And then look at this. Look at this crazy raccoon dancing over here. I think those are raccoons. What are those? They're jamming. Let's see what this giant monster down here is all about. Look how big he is. There's the lady. She's human size. Hotels and restaurants, no problem. Whoa. Carpe bagger, I want you next time. Look at this monstrous aqua cabana. Can you imagine just floating down the river or a lake in that thing? I can. Looks like we're getting to a lot of carnival games over here an extra large claw game so I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll try and play it see what happens how big the claw is on this machine. Oh, did she get one? Oh. <laughs> it's huge. And then it drops off in there. They have a Willy Wonka machine where you can earn character cards and golden tickets. Let's go ahead and see if we can play one. Oh wow, look at all the character cards that came out of there. Instead of breaking the real plate, you break a digital plate. 
into a comic. So it has you make all kinds of poses and then it prints out like a comic page down here. You have the option of either getting a cover made or you can do like a story page. I did a cover and the cover came out pretty good. It's gonna drop right here pretty soon. For a free experience, and to finally have myself on the cover of a comic, that was pretty awesome. I chose Spider-Man. You had a couple of options, but look at that. Animated me doing <laughs> the Spider-Man with the Ric Flair shirt on, Oakland A's hat. Now oh, this would be fun to have a lake and have some of these in there. Little pedal boats. It's for a Thomas the Tank Adventure Train Park coming in Arizona. Here's some of the carnival prizes that you can win and they're showing the price. You can buy a case of these, 192 in a case for 175. It's kind of an interesting carnival prize that you can win. Stuffed bag of chips, I love it. Couch potato chips. Max White. So you're inside there getting the virtual reality tour of what they're, what's being shown up there. They're about to take the ride and we'll be able to see them on this screen. And they have another screen that shows what they're seeing. There they go. And there they are. Whoa, dude! <laughs> I'm gonna get a free snow cone. And here it is. Thank you. They give it to you plain, then you just walk over and put your own syrup on it. Like that. Birthday cake snow cone? I don't know about that one. I see tiger's blood in there. I might have to get tiger's blood just for Charlie Sheen. Kind of wacky the tiger blood flavor is kind of like coconut mixed with like fruit punch i would say and here's our buddy larry black light attractions i'm over here making a free magnet since we're in florida you put it on a florida license plate and there it is i can always use a new magnet well my friends we have seen a lot today but there is a whole lot more to see at this expo than i ever imagined so we're gonna come back and we're gonna make a second vlog. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Have a great night and goodbye.